Hey guys, it's Canadian Queen 76 and as you know, since I took all that time off, I wasn't able to review the Braxton Family Values the way I wanted to. And now we're on the finale of Season 2. So I just have a little bit of, I guess, coverage and some advice for the ladies and their mamas E. And just some kind of, you know, just things that I was watching the show, some ideas or things that I came up with or comments that I still want to make. So here we go. Tawanda, get those um, acting classes, honey, because you said you don't want to be Tony's assistant or Tony's background singer anymore. So go ahead and get those acting classes done so that way you can start going out for other jobs. I believe you'd be really good at it. I mean, you have a lot of, you know, reality TV show starting behind you, and um, it would be awesome to see you in some things. I mean, you have the bone structure, and you're starting to wear this, your hair in a style that flatters your face. I definitely think that would be great for you. And don't set anybody up on dates because you're really bad at that, okay? No blind dates at all. Tracy, go ahead and finish cosmetology school. That's a very good, very good um, endeavor and goal to have. Develop a business plan while you're going to school so that way you can kind of figure out where you want your business to be. And please, 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 please do not call your shop Beauty. It's a horrible name, and I agree with your dad. I agree with everybody when you say that name. That name is horrible. Um, also, let's see, work on you, get your exercise in, and, you know, do what you feel is necessary for yourself, and um, watch out because Tony don't want any sisters in her background singers anymore, so please be prepared for that. Tony, 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 I'm glad you have new management. I felt like, you know, you were mixing the lines a little bit with your family, and you're ready to be out for yourself you know, off on your own, and I think you, you definitely deserve it. You're very accomplished. So good job on getting new management, and I'm happy that you told your sisters that they need to move on and you want to get some other professional uh, background singers so that way you can divide the lines and make them very clear between family and work. That is the best decision for you, and I, pr I pray that you're able to move on and get this stuff going. And can't wait to see you do more acting, more singing, more tours. You know, if you do you, take care of you, and your family's going to be okay. Everybody needs to blossom. I think y'all held on to each other long enough. Good job on that, Tony. Good job. Trina, I'm so happy you're doing your own material with the band. And I know I'm not, like, like Tamar, I'm not ready for you to move off on your own. I feel like you need to build some confidence, get some support. Hang out with the band as long as you can, but just know that you have the talent to actually do, you know, do your own. Unlike Tamar, you're actually showing you know, that you are doing your thing. You you made your songs, you're performing your songs, and no shade to Tamar, you are actually doing what you said you were going to do. Now let's get, get out the alcohol, let's figure out a way to cope better with what's going on with your life, um, and also deal with your personal life, because Gabe and your children come first right now, and you need to figure out what's going on with Gabe. You need to close that chapter or open a new chapter on what you want to do with Gabe. Um, I can't tell you what to do, you know, in your marriage because that is your marriage. So whatever you come up with, you know, it's all good. But I want you to be happy, and that's just what it is. And, oh, yeah, also, Trina, I'm happy. Everybody came to see your, your well, everybody came to see your performance. It might not be your first performance, but that was awesome. You rocked it, and it was just awesome. Get up there and rock it and do your thing. And I'm glad everybody was there for you. It was, that was a great, great thing to see in the finale. Miss E. Follow your heart and take your time. You still got a lot of life left in you, and there's some things that um, every time we do see, we see a glimpse of some unresolved issues for you. And jumping into another relationship with somebody or going too fast, you know, could be detrimental. So I'm glad that you were able to back out of that situation. And it didn't look like you were happy seeing doing any of the wedding planning, and it just didn't seem like he was enjoying it. And so. I'm glad you're able to be up front with Doc. I think he's not going nowhere right now. I think he's still about you and you about you. So we'll see what happens. Um, just be patient with yourself. You still have some growing to do, some soul searching to do, and then you'll be happy with whatever choice that you make. You're awesome, and keep leading the family like you are. Tamar, woo! Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. I'm so happy that they're showing up that the edit of the show is showing other sides of Tamar because I was freaking out. Because she and Vince are getting a show together, and I'm like, I ain't going to watch this show. Tamar is just going to be, rah, 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 rah. So I feel like it's 
I can see the place where Tamar's coming from when she asks her little bratty self, her little sport self. But Tamar, you and I, we're the same age, so it's time for you to get it together because some things are just not going to happen because that ship has sailed. I'm not saying that you can't ever do something. It's just maybe, it's probably not going to be on the grand scale that you want it to be. So you, But you need to pop it off now because we need to be waiting all day long for it. So you need to get your goals together too and don't be waiting for somebody to do it. You're still a little bit hesitant and you're still waiting for your sister's approval and those are your friends, I know, but you have to get out there and get things done. And if you consider having this baby, that's going to slow you down. I ain't saying you can't still do stuff. It's going to slow you down because you got to think about somebody else besides yourself. So get get it out of your system because if you don't, then you're going to have a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas. And that's the worst thing to have in life. Just go out there and do it. You fail, you knew you were going to, you know, you, you fail, you did it. But if you didn't, you succeeded, then that answers all that. But you have to make a decision that's best for you. And uh, I, it was great to see her, Tamar, nurturing Vince while he was really sick. And, you know, just, oh, my gosh, it was really hard to see. And it's very hard to go through. I absolutely love Vince's new dog, and I'm mad that he's not sharing that dog with Tamar because Tamar, this is where she needs to practice her nurturing skills. That dog is absolutely adorable. You can't have two bratty men in the house. No, uh, uh, uh. the dog ain't gonna be running over me. So Tamar, you get in there and play with that dog, and get and let, let that dog know you is mama, even though you yelling at it and doing all kind of stuff. But that dog is absolutely cute. <laughs> and don't worry, I ain't getting no more dogs. So. um with that, that's the finale. I'm happy, you know, about the show. Um, too bad, you know, this is the last season, I guess. And um, as I know, I know Tamar and Vince are getting the show. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Tawanda, Tracy, and Trina. I heard Trina and Tawanda were going to keep going. I'm not sure. But would love to see where this where this takes everybody. We know Tony's going to be out there. So, yeah, this is the Braxton. Hopefully we'll see what's going on next season. And Canadian Queen, this is, I'm signing out. Make sure y'all subscribe, rate this video, and comment. Talk to y'all later. Bye.